Prince Harry's style has subtly changed since he and Meghan started dating. The 33-year-old previously stuck to suits and ties for royal engagements. Off-duty he favoured kinos and brightly coloured polo shirts or sports jackets. Recently displayed a more sophisticated look in neutral layering. Since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle went public with their romance, the royal is rarely seen without a beaming smile. But Harry's evident happiness isn't the only impact his soon-to-be wife has had on his appearance, it seems his wardrobe has had something of an overhaul too. Having once stuck to a reliable uniform of suits and ties for royal engagements, and kinos, colourful polo shirts and sports jackets while off-duty, the prince has displayed a noticeably more dapper style since he began stepping out with Meghan on his arm, and the change has not gone unnoticed by style commentators. In the weeks since their engagement was announced in November, the prince has been snapped in more earthy and neutral coloured ensembles and well-tailored suits as seen during his appearance in Brixton on Tuesday. As well as opting for a more sophisticated colour palette, he has even been seen sartorially in sync with the suit's actress, last month stepping out and coordinating navy trench coats and tan accessories as they attended the Terence Higgins Trust World AIDS Day charity fair in Nottingham. Previously Harry's go-to outfits at his beloved sporting events often consisted of white kinos and bright polo tops, as seen above left at the polo in 2013, but of late he has frequently opted for grey suits and earthy trench coats, also sported by his fiancée. The couple were seen leaving the represent 107.3 Fathoms radio station in Brixton on Tuesday, both sporting neutral sweater and trouser ensembles and earthy overcoats. Harry has ditched bright ties and baggy suits, as seen below during a visit to Italy in 2014, in favour of tailored and nude outfit combos. Speaking to Mail Online, stylist Manina Weldon of Red Leopard said, Meghan certainly seems to have affected Harry sartorially. He is more aware of how he is putting himself together, and it looks as if they are trying to coordinate their appearance slightly. Meghan herself favours neutrals, she is often in greys which look lovely on her, and he seems to have adapted to this. Speaking about his look during his outing to Brixton this week, Mandina observed that he appears to have taken to layering, something Meghan is a big fan of. Here, he is layering again she said the coat looks like it could be olive green or a bronze colour, really good on him. He's adopting what we would call the huntsman look, classic, but with a bit more texture and movement, which suits him perfectly. Again, I like the round neck sweater over the shirt. And Meghan and Harry look to have started coordinating as far back as 2016, when they met after being set up on a blind date by a mutual friend during the summer. The couple were pictured separately in 2016 both sporting crisp white shirts and navy suit combos. Similarly the pair both opted for neutral outfits and layers as they attended the Royal Christmas Day church service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham last month. While Meghan donned earthy colours, layering a beige trench coat and a coordinating brown hat, boots and bag, Harry again slipped into a grey tailored trench and neutral suit. The well-cut navy suit was also his go-to choice during his official engagement announcement with Meghan in November 2017, when the actress opted for a pale wool coat and beige pumps. Meghan has previously spoken about how she's not influenced by trends and prefers classic pieces and favours neutral colours in her wardrobe. A lot of my personal style is reflected in Rachel, she told Glamour of her suit's character last year. I like monochromatic and tonal dressing and I don't gen, 